Hey there crew mates, how's it going? It's Miffed Crew here. Today we are going to look at how to add baby animatronics into Source Filmmaker. This tutorial was requested by Illuminatus Online. I'd like to thank you so much for your request. Let's get into how it's done. There are four steps to making a baby animatronic that we will cover. Adjusting the overall size of the animatronic. Adjusting the animatronic's head size. Changing the animatronic's body group. And adjusting the animatronic's eye size. So. First, you would like to find the animatronic models that you would like to make look like babies. In this case, I'm using the animatronic models that were made by i 6 nis and Splinks. So yeah, to add the model, we are going to go to the plus sign up here. We're going to click on create animation set for new model. And we're just typing the model that we would like to make into a baby. In this case, I'm going to type in Foxy, which is the model that I would like, and Splinks. More of the people who were involved with making the model. So now that we have found our model, we will just click on him and then click open. And then we are going to want to position our model so that he is standing um, where we would like him to be, really. Um, so I am going to grab his root transform bone, go into the position tool, and then I am going to left click and hold in this little blue square. And then I'm going to hold down shift where I would like him to stand. And then um, he would be standing right there. Cool. So now that he's in his standing position, we are then going to want to add a scale control. I've actually done a tutorial on how to add a scale control already. So if you'd like to check that out, feel free to. However, I'll still try and make it clear to follow. So we are going to uh, left click on the model, um, in which case it's Foxy2. And we're going to want to make sure of that. Where we do click on the model, there is a little green cube next to it. Then we are going to want to right click on the model. And then we are going to want to go into the text that says utilities. We'll then see a, uh, a little menu appear. And then we're going to want to click add scale control to models. Sweet. So we have now actually added a, uh, a scale control allowing us to make the model even bigger or smaller. We're going to want to make it smaller in this case so it can be the size of a little baby. Um, now that we have added our scale control, we are going to want to... Uh, go to the blue text that says body We're then going to want to make sure that it's extended by um, uh, left clicking on the uh, plus button next to it And then we are going to want to um, uh, Go down to the bottom text of this uh, little body section where it says root transform uh, scale <laughs> um, Once we have clicked left click left clicks on that we're then going to want to go into this little grey area here and um, I will see the same text that says we transform scale we're going to want to make it a uh, quite a bit smaller until it's the uh, appropriate size for a baby um, now that I have done this uh, I think this uh, looks uh, like a good enough size to be a baby I'd say so uh, now that we have um, made it the uh, size that we would like it to be we are then going to want to make its head a little bit bigger so we can do this by left clicking on the uh, neck bone and then uh, right clicking on it and then we're going to want to left click on the text that says add scale control to transforms and then within the section that the um, neck bow was in in this case it is um, again to be the body section body body at the bottom of the section we should see some new text appear now this should be the um, text that will allow us to adjust the size of the head so we are going to uh, left click on that text and then we are going to want to um, uh, make it ever so slightly bigger here. Not too much bigger here. And that is basically how you add baby animatronics into Source Filmmaker. Now depending on what you want your animation to look like, uh, this may be all you need in terms of uh, adding uh, baby animatronics into Source Filmmaker. However, um, if you've seen any of my baby Foxy animations, um, you'll notice that they um, that their eyeballs are quite a lot bigger. And if you were to add in baby Bonnie, then he would originally look like this. As you can see, he is a little bit darker and um, his eyes look uh, quite a bit different. Uh, a lot like the other baby animatronics eyes here. So we're going to cover how to um, make baby Foxy look brighter and how to give him the uh, same eyes that I have in my animations. Now I would like to quickly say that when it comes to doing this step, these features vary from um, from model to model. So how we can do this is that we can um, go to our body model, 
we could uh, right click on our Bonnie model and then we can go to the text that says set skin and what set skin does is that uh, these are the skin options so basically you can uh, make them look a uh, slightly different depending on what uh, each skin has got to offer in this case we are going to want to um, go to set skin and then click on number one this will give baby Bonnie the uh, bright color that he has in my animations. But saying if you wanted him to have dark purple eyes with a bright purple outline, then uh, we're going to want to right click on Bonnie once again, go down to the text that says set body groups, uh, go to the text that says eyes, and then we're going to want to left click on Bonnie glow eyes. Now you may notice that first, Baby Bonnie will have slightly different eyes still. He has bright purple eyes with um uh, uh with a white with white eye pupils, and um and it doesn't really match what we're trying to get here. We want the dark purple eyes with the uh, bright purple outline. So how we can achieve this is that we can locate where the eyeballs are. In this case, the eyeballs are located uh, in the unknown section, and um. They are labeled control underscore L underscore I and control underscore R underscore I. Now, of course, um, each model is going to uh, vary, so it might be called so it might be called something slightly different. It could even have uh, a, being a different section. So that we have found where the eyes are. We're then going to want to left click on one of the eyes, and then uh, hold down control, and then left click on the uh, other eye. And then what we're going to want to do then is that we are going to want to uh, right click in the um, rotation circle. We're then going to want to go to rotation mode and then uh, left click on the text that says local. And then what this would do is that it will stop the eyeballs from going all over the place because if you were to have it set to world then uh, the eyeballs might go in places that they're not supposed to but if you were to have it set to local however then we'll be able to rotate them as we would like to uh, with both eyeballs being selected here cool so now that we have uh, the eyeball set to local we are now going to um, uh, rotate it up slightly uh, just keep on rotating it up until you see a uh, the eyes that we are looking for finally the uh, dark purple eyes with the bright purple outline yes so cool, so that's Baby Bonnie sorted out here and that's basically how you add uh, Baby Bonnie's brighter colour and dark purple eyes. Now these are only to these models specifically, so generally speaking other models may not have this. Like I said earlier, it sort of varies from model to model here. Now that we have Baby Bonnie sorted out, um, we are then going to go on to the next additional step here. How to make their eyeballs big. So if you'd like to make the eyeballs a, a big, uh, sort of like you see in my Baby Foxy animations, you notice that uh, Baby Foxy, let's say for example, has big green eyes. Um, we are going to look at how to do that because currently he has small eyes, tiny eyes even, compared to <laughs> uh, the animations that I do with Baby Foxy who has giant size eyes. So what we can uh, do for this is that we can um, uh, left click on the uh, text up here that says console and then we are going to want to type in R underscore I size then we are going to want to uh, press the space bar to do a finger space and then we're going to want to press the number four. Once we've done that, we're going to click enter, we're going to press enter, and then we're going to go back into the uh, viewport here, we're going to uh, press play, we're going to press pause then, and then the eye pupils should be nice and big, uh, as well as um, all the other eyes, uh, except from Bonnie, because we've already done his eyes. And um, yeah, that's basically, um, how you do the eye pupils. So yes, that's basically how you add baby animatronics into Source Filmmaker. Again, I'd like to thank you so much Illuminatus Online for um, making your re uh, tutorial request. And I don't know I've said it many times before, I really want to do more tutorials. It's probably going to be months now until I do another one, but maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm uh, constantly thinking about how I'm going to organise times how we're gonna plan things out and boring stuff really <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much all for now crew mates thank you for watching it's myth crew here and i'll be back with more videos coming soon goodbye crew mates